Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schufer Gymnasium. I'm Anthony Brown here with Chris Rickenball on a lovely Wednesday afternoon as we bring to you a matchup between the Lenore Ryan Bears and the Mars Hill Lions. Chris, second time in a row we've gotten the honor to do this, and the Bears are looking for their second straight win. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. I think the first game went pretty good with us. Might as well keep us on if when they uh, keep winning tonight. Um, you know, what do we see in the first game? We saw a lot of things. I highlighted four different things. I said they needed to rebound, and look, they had a season high of 43 rebounds, and that greatly affected the game, as well as second-chance points. They had 14 second-chance points coming off rebounds and off the board, and I think that really propelled the Bears uh, to a big win, as well as a lot of players had career highs. I think we can name half the squad uh, Addison DeLucas, Mallory, Mallory Sherrill, Corbin Tipton, and Sydney Wilson. You know, I think uh, I think tonight's going to be really, really interesting to see how Mars Hills reacts to the film. You know, now they have now they have a little bit of film on these players. So, how are they going to defend that? Exactly. And the game we speak of last time out was a win against Queens University by the Bears. They are looking to extend their winning streak to two games. Audrey Tummerman, she got her first win acting in as the head coach last time out. And the Bears, still a little shorthanded, but fearless nonetheless. We saw that last time out. I look for that again today. As you said, four players with career highs and points, probably numerous more with career highs and all other types of places. They needed players to show up, and they got them to show up. And today they get a Mars Hill team who's ahead of them in the conference standings, but they're looking to stop their own streak as well as they've lost eight games in a row. What do you have on the Lions today? You know, they're, the, the Lions are going to be pretty hungry. As you said, they've lost the last eight games, and they're giving up almost 83 points per game. That is huge, especially with a Lenore Ryan team that uh, scored a season high of 78 points. So they can score the ball, and that, that could be really defeating for the Lions and uh, they're not a three-point shooting team so if we saw Lenore Ryan do the same thing they did against Queens make them shoot the ball uh, don't give them the inside I think this could be a very tough game for the Lions but you got to highlight Deja Marshall you know I took it I started taking a look at these stats and I'm going to read them off here for you she is second in the sack in points and rebounds she's averaging roughly 22 points 15 rebounds per game and seven double doubles on the season she leads all of Division II with 12 defensive rebounds per game. And, you know, taking a look at those stats, she's obviously going to be um, a big player tonight. Um, you know, I don't think for Lenore Ryan you need to know how to stop her. You know, you can let her score points. If she scores 20 to 30 points, that's not going to be the entire game for you. Um but make her shoot those three points. You can't let her get inside and be that explosive player, especially late in the game. And Marshall, her numbers just stick out. They're, they're pretty just jaw-dropping at the oh, numbers yeah. she's putting up. 12 rebounds a game from a 5'7 guard out of Chester, South Carolina. She, she is kind of the identity of this team. They want to play inside. They want to get easy buckets. I think today for the Bears, it'll be a good matchup as – Last time out, they dominated the glass. They got a lot of buckets inside at the rim, and while they hit a couple threes, they controlled that game from the paint. And if they want to win again, they'll have to do it again. So the Bears, they'll get a matchup against the Lions. We're going to take a short break here and be back with some of our bold predictions and starting lineups on the Bears Sports Network.
And we're back here now, two minutes to go, roughly until tip-off. And we'll go through starting lineups first for your Mars Hill Lions. Number zero, Gabby Giannikos. Number three, Kyla Daniels. Number 12, Katia Foggy. Number 21, Deja Marshall. And number 24, Shelby Bowman. The starting lineup for your Lenore Ryan Bears, it's going to be the sophomore, Ashley Woodruff, senior, who had a big game last uh, last Monday, Addison DeLucas, the fresh, redshirt freshman, Mallory Sherrill, freshman Corbin Tipton, and Nakia Hooks, who had a great game on Monday. And you said it right there, Corbin Tipton, she came in in the second half of that last game, hit a couple shots, she gets... Uh, rewarded with her first career start here and let's go through our bold predictions Chris what's your bold prediction for tonight you know we saw uh, we saw Corbin Tipton shoot the ball really well and you know I think she's gonna have a career high 16 points tonight and four threes and uh, this is really gonna propel the Bears tonight if she can hit some of those shots from the from beyond the arc I'm also gonna go offensive with you I think the Bears Coming off of a season high in points, they add to it again tonight. A Mars Hill defense that's been struggling a lot lately. I think the Bears take advantage of it, and they put another big number up on the board, have another season high in points. About 20 seconds to go here. Teams are getting ready for starting lineups in the National Anthem. It's going to be a fun night here. As there's a lot of moving to do in the South Atlantic Conference standings. The Bears enter today at number 11. Only a half game behind ninth place and two games out of sixth place. So there's a lot of moving that can be done over the next few games for the Bears. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. At guard from Charlotte, North Carolina, number zero, Gabby Giannikos. At guard from Lexington Park, Maryland, number three, Kyla Daniels. At forward from Lawrence, South Carolina, number 12, Kataya Foggy. At guard from Chester, South Carolina, number 21, Deja Marshall. And at forward from Morganton, North Carolina, number 24, Selby Bowman. The Lions are coached by Brianna Clark. She's assisted by Kerry Garden and Tiger Norman. At guard from Flowery Branch, Georgia, number three, Ashley Woodrow. At guard from Harrisburg, Virginia, number 14, Addison DeLucas. At forward from St. North Carolina, number 21, Valerie Sherrill. Don't let me get in my zone. Don't 
And that was your starting lineup for the Bears and the Lions as we get ready for tip-off here. Chris, it's a good afternoon for some basketball, and I don't know about you, but I always get excited when tip-off gets ready to come around. Oh, absolutely, and absolutely. You know, the Lions are very hungry coming into the night on an eight-game losing streak. Lenore Ryan, with all the circumstances around, um, with an assistant coach becoming acting head coach, you know, they, they got to be feeling really good coming off of Monday's win. And as we head to the tip-off, Mallory, Cheryl, you see the starting lineup on your screen once more before we get started here. Mallory, Cheryl in for the tip-off, as well as Katia Foggy for the Lions. And ref blows the whistle. Foggy versus Cheryl to get us started here. And it bounces around. The Lions gain possession, and that'll start... Our Carolina West wireless first quarter. It's an over the back call is a pretty disjointed tip off. Gets us started here. Bears will get possession first. Looked a little bit interesting. We'll see how the the Bears really set up their offense. You saw in the first first about quarter they seemed really really hesitant and unsure. And as the game went on, they got a little bit more comfortable. Woodruff drives baseline to get us started here, and that's blocked. Lions looking to push it up on the wing. Drives baseline and swings it back out. Now going to look to have some offense. Bears in a 2-3. A little bit of a matchup today. Swings it around. Baseline. Look on the way. Bowman can't get it to fall and rebound to Lucas. She led the team in rebounds last time out with a career high. Had 11 of them. That yeah, was a good look there. Just couldn't get it to go down. Sets up a nice play right there. Comes off at the free throw line. Tipped in. Can't get it to go for the first shot of the day from the Bears. Rebound hooks inside and we'll get a travel. Not surprising that they went to Tipton right off the bat seeing if she can get hot. She had a career high eight points, five rebounds. And as I said, she is not afraid to shoot the ball. The Bears going to do a lot of communicating. Already today looking a little more comfortable than they did to start game the game against Queens last time out. Good defense on the ball. Janikos can't get it to fall. Rebound. And now the Bears looking to push. We'll see a nice, interesting contrast when the Bears want to push and when they want to set up their offense at the half court. Moving it around. 15 seconds left on the shot clock, and they're going to get a screen up top. Woodruff comes off at the free throw line. Can't get the roll, but Cheryl on the rebound. Can't get the put back either. You know, not a bad start for the Bears. I know there's no points on yet, but at least they're getting those rebounds. They're feeling a little bit more comfortable. And as the game goes on, hopefully they play a little bit faster to put points on the board. Mars Hill getting to the baseline up top now. Trying to find an open look inside, and that'll be a walk. Turning the ball back over. So two minutes into the game and no points by either team. We haven't mentioned it yet, but Gabby Giannikos for the Lions, she was 8 for 15, 17 points against Anderson on Monday. She's the second highest scorer on the team with 118 points total and she's shooting 72% on the season, so the Bears cannot take her lightly tonight as she can score any time. A lot of pressure right there by Giannikos. Putting that one back out of bounds, and the Bears get a reset here, looking to break this half-court pressure. Woodruff with it up top, going to set up a play, swings it across court. This is when things will get interesting as they try to get into their half-court sets. Watch them try to feed the post inside. Hooks with it at the high post. A little high-low action, Cheryl steps right through and can't get it to fall. You know, the Lions preparing pretty well, pushing the Bears to be on the outside as Addison DeLucas gets a steal, gets the two. Nice play right there by DeLucas to finally break the ice and get some points on the board, the steal and then the layup. Marshall pushing it the other way, gets inside, and that's what she does. She just gets buckets. You got to watch her if you're the Bears. Yeah, she's going to be very dynamic tonight. Um, I expect her to have the most points for the Lions. Bears break the pressure pretty comfortably right there. And now looking to get another basket and really get settled into a flow on the offensive side. That's a bad pass. And Marshall, she takes it all the way. 
gets the layup and gives Mars Hill the lead. Four to two, a little over six and a half to go here in the first quarter. Just wondering how the Lions would play defense against the Bears with the fact they were trying to get it inside so much. They're manned up. Woodruff drives off of a screen and gets a bump. Yeah, you saw on the last possession uh, when the Bears went or they were setting up their play, you could see the Lions kind of starting to close in on the paint because they knew exactly where it was going to go. So we need, a, need to see a little bit more movement on the Bears, and I think that's going to get them you know, out of their element and hopefully more points on the board. Sidney Wilson has checked into the game for the Bears. First player off the bench for either team. DeLucas from outside. Can't get it to fall, but Wilson with the rebound, and she gets harmed. We'll go to the free throw line. Five rebounds, three and a half minutes into the game. That's pretty good for the Lenore Ryan Bears, and uh, that's something they need to keep doing as Sydney Wilson heads to the line. Um, you know, it's it's been pretty sloppy so far, but um, not a whole lot of points so far. Um, Sydney Wilson does not get that one to fall. Wilson had a heck of a game last time out as well, leading the Bears in scoring, 18 points, and also contributed on the glass as well. She knocks down the second one, scores four to three here. Four minutes played in this first quarter. Ball bouncing around down there on the floor. Hooks goes on the ground to get it, can't get it, and a free throw line jumper for the Lions is cash. Yeah, Foggy. she. She's going to be able to capitalize on any, any room they give her. So the Bears need to play a little bit closer as we see a steal by Giannikos. Pass over to Marshall and another layup. She's the leading scorer right now with six points for the Lions. This pressure's giving the Bears a little bit of trouble right now as they try to break it. Get across half court. And just creating a lot of confusion are the Lions on the Bears as Woodruff fights through and can't get it to fall. That's about the fourth time now we've seen a good look just not get over the rim for the Bears. Yeah, something I had on my board was no wild shots for the Bears. That was going to kill them. And um, we've seen it so far. Not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of clean shots as we head into a timeout. Bucket right there, knocked down by Bowman. Lions lead 10 to 3. We'll be back here on the Bear Sports Network. We want to see you driving a new Kia or, hey, a quality pre-owned Kia. We've got a huge selection of new and pre-owned Kias. you got to get the Paramount Kia in Hickory, Highway 70, ParamountKia.com. Back here on the Bear Sports Network, Anthony Brown with Chris Rickenbaugh, and we're going to show you a replay of that last sequence. Swing it around by the Lions, and they find a wide-open Bowman in the short corner, and she gladly takes that shot and knocks it down. Here on the Bear Sports Network, we would like to remind you that Ortho Emerge Ortho is the official sports medicine provider of the Bears. With 45 locations in 21 counties, from the mountains to the coast, Emerge Ortho is North Carolina's premier provider, providing world-class, comprehensive, and com ah! compassionate care for the Little Ryan student-athletes. We see the Lions playing with a little bit more fire right now. They know they're up. Um, have a little bit or have a seven point lead right now um, you know we said they needed to play hot they're obviously hungry coming into this game on their eight game losing skid and the Bears still trying to figure out what they have and um, we're, we're seeing that pretty early in the game because the Lions already know what they can score with as Nikki Hooks misses a bucket underneath the basket and that's like Again, the fifth or fourth time now we've seen a good look for the Bears inside that they haven't been able to get to fall. 
Got to start making the easy ones in close. Lions work it around, get a nice short corner look, and that's going to be a foul on the rebound. The Lucas getting called for being a little too aggressive there as she tried to keep Marshall off the glass, something that's going to be very important. The ball is going to stay with the Lions. Freshman 34, Chandler Adams checks in for the Lions and another bucket this time from Janikos. Lions now have a 12-3 lead. Bears pushing the tempo a little bit. Tipped in. Gets it to fall. That's a pretty looking jumper on a transition bucket. That's something that the Bears needed. They were down eight points. Getting some points on the board is going to be very crucial to them. Taking clean shots, and that's what I had. No wild shots. That's going to affect them big time early in the game. Woodruff tries to go behind the back. Loses control. Marshall up ahead. Gets another layup, and that's her eighth point of the game. Came in here averaging 21 points. And the Bears have not been able to really slow down Marshall from getting buckets inside. The press is really suffocating this Bears team as we see a foul. Going to call a hand check foul right there on Bowman. Third foul of the quarter for the Lions. It's something to watch as the Bears might be able to get something going at the free throw line. They look to get it in bounds. Woodruff controls it in the backcourt and brings it across. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Outside. The Lucas little runner can't get it to go, but Wilson cleans it up. And just can't get it to fall. They're getting the offensive rebounds that I think they want. Just can't get them to fall right now if you're the Bears. Got to stay patient. Janikos gets inside and gets fouled. Had to send her to the free throw line. Bears only two for ten on their field goals right now. Uh, just they've they've had pretty good looks at the basket. They just haven't been able to get it down. But you know that's that's the entire point of the game. You got to get those to go in to have points. And Mars Hill is just hitting their shots right now. They've had they look a little bit more um, settled than the Bears do. Janiko is un unable to get the first one to fall here. Trying to make it a 10-point lead for the Lions. And she does. Then she'll get a sub. That'll bring in Hannah Chandler. For the Bears right now, you just want to take a breath and go back to what you were doing on Monday night, which is setting up your plays. And, yes, the press is not helping. Woodruff breaks it, and I think she gets a pretty good look again, just unable to get it to fall if you're the Bears. Eventually, you're going to have to start hitting shots. Lions push it up ahead. That's a tough scoop shot. Rebound, Cheryl. Tipton now pushing it up the, the side. Woodruff slows it down and looks to set up the play. 20 seconds left on the shot clock, a high screen. Rejects it. They got a lot of space over here. Tipton, she gets it and gets it to fall. First three of the night for the Bears. Corbin Tipton, she's got five points now. Marshall not wasting any time getting it across half court. Faces a double team. Let's go of a three. Unable to get that to fall. That's not a strength in her game. And Hooks can't control the rebound. So that'll stay here with the Lions. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Two and a half to go here in the first quarter. I think the Bears need to know that they don't have to do exactly what they did on Monday night. You know, obviously the 43 rebounds helped them out, 78 points, but that's not going to be an every game. That's not going to be an every game thing. So they just need to settle down, run their plays, and I think that you'll see that as the game goes on. And they've been cleaning up the glass defensively here. That's always a positive. They get another defensive rebound and a look to run it up the court, trying to get consecutive buckets for the first time in this game. A lot of space inside. Hook, she works. Can't get it to fall, but unable to control it. And Cheryl swoops right in for her second bucket of the day. Yeah, rebounds are big there. Getting uh, getting their own offensive rebounds, that's going to be huge. That creates those second chance points that I was talking about earlier. Lions now. A lot of space outside. A three on the way. Unable to go. And the Bears chase down the rebound. It's the Lucas. Cheryl's running. 
Lucas all the way up with the little scoop shot. Can't get it over the rim. That's one of those where you want to settle down and run your play. What a pass right there by Marshall, but it's unable to drop. Chandler just brings it out. Bear is down five. It didn't look pretty at all in this first quarter a lot, but now they have a chance to get it to a one-possession game here with a bucket. Hooks up top. There's a lot of space for the Bears if they want to get some jumpers up. Tipton, she sets, fires. And Cheryl gets the rebound reset of 20 seconds on the shot clock. You see the Bears want to go down low, but you don't have anybody inside the paint. They're all standing right around the perimeter. There needs to be a little bit more movement. That one's poked out of bounds by Daniels. As we see some subs, Sydney Wilson comes in. And Michaela Dixon as well will check in. 51 seconds to go here in the first quarter. It is an important note that the Bears had 26 points off the bench. I know there's only four sitting on the bench, but that, those are some big numbers. Quick discussion by the refs, and with 10 seconds on the shot clock, Bears have to get rolling. Woodruff, a little hesitation, step through, and gets the roll. That was a pretty move right there. Ashley Woodruff gets on the board. 12 to 15 here and about a 10 second difference on the shot clock. Daniels now looking to get a bucket for the Lions and stop this run. Three pointer on the way, another miss. 25 seconds to go here and the Bears will look to take the final shot. Either go down one or tied after the first quarter. Bears look to set up. Cheryl with it up top now. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Woodruff from three. Can't get it to go. She hit a couple of them the other night. Three seconds to go. Two, one. Daniels gets it to fall at the buzzer. And the Lions will take a five-point advantage as we end the first quarter. Mars Hill, 17. Lenore Ryan, 12. We'll be back here on the Bear Sports Network. Everett Chevrolet Buick GMC is ready for another exciting football season. Everett has been a proud sponsor of the Lenore Ryan Bears for 25 years, and we wish the Bears a safe and successful season. And August means it's all systems go for another winning season with the Carolina Panthers. We have a tradition of winning in the Carolinas, and when you want to be a winner in the car, truck, or SUV game, come see the sales and service champions at Everett, because if you didn't get an Everett deal, you dropped the ball, baby. Woo! I knew that there was an opportunity to have my college paid for if I was good enough to play baseball at that level. That was going to make a big difference in my family. D2 baseball gave me an opportunity to play at a high level and to get an education that's going to be valuable for me throughout the rest of my life. I chose to take my experience of being a student athlete and pursue that within my career and to get a master's degree. If I wouldn't have had a baseball scholarship, there'd be no chance that I'm doing what I'm doing today. Welcome back here on the Bear Sports Network. Us at Lenore Ryan would like to remind you that Southside Power and Fitness provides an exclusive discount of almost 50% off for LR faculty, staff, and students. Experience what Southside has to offer at southsidepf.com. The only limit is you. Chris, five-point deficit going into the second quarter. What are you looking for the Bears to do to get back ahead in this game? You know, a five-point deficit isn't the worst thing in the world. You know, the Bears were down 15-5 to five really early in this game, not hitting their shots, and they really started to come together in those last two or three minutes and uh, put together some plays, hit some shots. They had a fast break by Addison DeLucas to get them started, and um, the Bears just need to take a breath, and I think that's what they're going to be doing, um, or that's what they did during the break. So hopefully we'll see a little bit more tempo from them. Five on the floor right now for the Bears. Cheryl, Wilson, Dixon, Woodruff, and DeLucas. As they get the first possession here in the second quarter. Tough little skip pass. DeLucas gathers it. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Gets it to the free throw line. Cheryl takes the jumper. Nice look, and that's a bucket. Four points on the game for Cheryl. She's been very crucial down in the paint. She has... A couple rebounds, and then she's able to get those second-chance points. 
Nice rotation by Dixon. Forces the kick out. And the Bears unable to clean it up. But that one is slapped out of bounds by Mars Hill. And the Bears will gain possession looking again to get a big shot here as we get a replay. Yeah, Mallory Sherrill just finding an open space and taking that quick shot, not letting anybody get their hands up. It looked like the Lions were kind of looking around, seeing what was going on. And now the Lions only have the three-point lead. The Lucas up top looking for something. Woodruff in the corner. She took a couple corner threes against Queens and knocked them down. So I wouldn't be surprised she takes a look there if she gets open enough. And that's going to be a foul reaching in from Janikos. Unable to get the ball, but got a little piece of the arm of DeLucas. DeLucas had an outstanding uh, game Monday. She had 18 points, 11 rebounds, and three steals on the game. And uh, it seems like she's kind of feeding off that. She wants to go quick. And, um, you know, the Bears just aren't going to score like that. They need to take, take their open shots just like Mallory Sherrill just did. Cheryl gets it, kicks it out to Woodruff. She sets her feet and knocks it down, ties the game. Woodruff from three. Told you she made a couple the other night against Queens, so she's feeling comfortable if they leave her open. It is worth mentioning they, the Bears are really, really strong in the second quarter. After being outscored by 49 points in the first seven games of the year in the second quarter, the Bears, you know, I've really turned the tables and I've outscored their opponents by. 20 points in the past two games. They're averaging 19 and a half points in the last two games in the second quarter. So, you know, they do struggle a little bit in that first quarter, but you know, they're, they start to settle into the game and get comfortable and hit their shots. And I think you're seeing that now. And that's also a credit to the coaching. They come over, make the adjustments, settle everybody down. And then the players go out and play as they've tied it up here and erased the five point deficit in the second quarter. Lions moving around. Janikos gets inside with a tough layup. Unable to fall and tipping with the rebound. Nice pace up right here for the Bears. Gets it inside to Wilson. She goes unable to get a call. Can't get a shot up and will be called for a travel. Lines are really collapsing in the middle of the paint now whenever the Bears try to get it inside. Yeah, they definitely watched the film on that first game. And uh, that's where a lot of, or the majority of those points came from is down inside the paint in uh, the second and third quarter. And they saw that, and they're defending it really well right now. Just want to let everybody know this is the second quarter. I know it says first down on the broadcast. 7.52 here to go in the second. 17 all. And that'll be a five-second call. It's not something you see too regularly in a basketball game. But the Bears really locked in on defense right there, gave the Lions no option, and now they'll look to break this press and take the lead. Yeah, the press has really been a problem for the Bears so far. It's caused them to play fast. As you see, Tipton with the floater. She's going to have seven points on the night. Leading scorer for the Bears. Really comfortable look right there, and I think you have to do that. If you're going to break the press, you have to take the easy layups they give you, even if you don't want to play at that tempo. Yeah, we didn't see a whole lot of fast breaks on the game Monday. Giannikos with the jumper. That was a pretty shot right there. She got into a spot she liked. You said it, second leading scorer on the team. Not afraid to shoot it as well. That gives her five points on the game. Tipton drives in. Shuffles the feet, though, as she turns to kick it out. She's playing with a lot of confidence right now, and I think this is uh, what you take from the ladies that are out tonight. Uh, normally you see Hannah McClung being that explosive player. She's gone for the night. Um, and that's really where I'm seeing it. You're not seeing um, a whole lot of three-point shots. Those are usually taken care of uh, by Kennedy Waite. She's not on the floor tonight. So Kennedy Waite, or uh, excuse me, Corbin Tipton is really taking care of that. Nice motion right there. Daniels gets it, drives inside for the tough look, but it'll be an offensive foul. Hook stepped in front and took the charge. She took a couple tough shots on Monday as well. Yes, Hooks has shown us early on that she's not afraid to lay her body on the line for her team. 
Back tied, 19 to 19. Bears looking to take the lead once again. Started this quarter down five. You already highlighted it. The Bears have been outscoring their opponents by 20 points in the last three second quarters they have played. So they set up the offense here and they'll look for an open look. Six seconds to go here on the shot clock. Cheryl drives in, puts one up and gets fouled and one. AB, she's going to have a big night. Already seven rebounds on the night in the first 14 minutes of the game. Not even 14 minutes. She has six points and heading to the line for more. Trying to match her points with her rebounds as Mallory Cheryl knocks it down. Gives the Bears a three-point lead, 22-19. Giannikos gets the roll. That touched about every part of the backboard, and she found a way, had a touch, and it falls. But her foot was on the line, so that would make it a two. Bears still up one. Giannikos playing really well right now for the line. She's got seven points on the night. Hooks gets one inside. And gets it to fall. Finally, the Bears get the post touch and the post bucket that they've been looking for all day. If you're the Lions, you cannot let that happen. That's where they scored most of their points Monday night, and that's where they're comfortable getting the ball to. DeLucas with the quick hands. Now she's running the fast break. Up and under, Cheryl. Up and under herself, and that is a bucket. Bears are rolling now. That's three straight possessions ending with a bucket. So you take a five-point lead. She's played really, really well down in the paint, being really aggressive, and that's what you need to see from these freshmen. Kind of a freak bounce off the backboard, and Cheryl will take it. Rolls it ahead to DeLucas. Cheryl now with nine points to lead the way for the Bears. Looking for more from Cheryl. She gets it, turns right shoulder, and one! She is feeling it right now, A.B., having a night. Heading to the line for more. She's got 11 points on the night. 100% on free throws as we head into the media timeout. Bears 28-21. to 21. Should get a second look at that replay brought to you by Southside Power and Fitness. Mallory Sherrill, we'll keep it here. Mallory Sherrill has already tied her career high with 11 points. She did that last time out against Queens. You said she was having a heck of a day. She also... Has a career high already in rebounds as she has seven of them. I mean, can't ask for a better start. When you're looking for somebody to step up when you have your key players out, no Emily Hardman, no Kennedy Waite, I mean, no Hannah McClung. You can probably go down the list. There's a bunch of players that the Bears wish they had tonight, and you look at your players that you have left and ask for somebody to step up. Mallory Sherrill has shown up. Absolutely. Highlighting Mallory Sherrill. Uh, Corbin Tipton's played really well. She's got seven points, two rebounds on the night. And uh, you can't say enough about Addison DeLucas. I know she only has two points so far, two rebounds. And uh, after a big night on Monday, um, I think we were expecting her to, her to have more points. But, no, she's really being that leader that the Bears need right now. She's being able to calm everything down. She's uh, dishing out the assists, three on the night so far. And uh, that's, you know, that's her main role tonight is just to kind of be that leader um, and just really controlling this Bears offense. After struggling from the field, the Bears are now up to 46%, and they've dropped the percentage of the Lions down to 47%. Points really only coming from Marshall and Giannikos. Marshall with eight. She hasn't scored yet in this quarter, and Giannikos has seven. Cheryl at the free throw line, five of eight, 11 points, looking to add to it. Can't get to fall, but a rebound by Hooks. And the Bears will reset. We see Chandler Adams check into the game for the Lions as well. Bears looking to extend their largest lead of the night. Tipped and she comes off of a screen. The Lucas baseline. Three seconds. They got to get a shot up. Woodruff lets one loose and offensive rebound. Unable to control it, but a uh, rebounding foul as Chandler Adams gets called for the grab of the arm. Ball's going to stay with the Bears here. We'll see if they can get a quick shot off. They got pretty much a full shot clock. 
So that's nothing to worry about. We'll see. Or Nick actually, heading to the line, actually, Nikia Hooks. Got to send the Bears into the bonus, the fifth foul on the Lions. Hooks knocks down the first one. The Bears three for five so far on their free throws tonight. I had it in my notes. They need to hit their free throws, especially late in the game. It's going to be crucial putting them up nine points on the Lions. Marshall now looking to get involved. She hasn't really been involved in the half-court offense so far today. All of her buckets have came in transition. Nice ball movement inside, and Cheryl cleans it up, adding to her career high in rebounding. Just not a, not a clean second half for the Lions right now. They only have uh, four points for the six minutes in the second quarter. Um, just need to clean it up. They're not getting their shots to go down as they were in the first. Some miscommunications. The Bears try to set up the play. The Lucas trying to point stuff out. Woodruff from the corner. Looked good. Just can't get the bounce off the rim as it'll touch the shot clock. And the Lions will get it. 3.49 here until halftime. The Bears up 9, 30 to 21. And it's been a lot of defense here in the second quarter that sparked this lead for the Bears. The Bears really out-rebounding the Lions right, right now on the offensive side. They are out-rebounding re them by 6 and overall by 7. And again, defensively just not leaving any options. Daniels has to shuffle her feet. Just can't talk enough about the defensive effort by the Bears. They are just everywhere. They're not leaving a lot of open shots early on in this game. I thought they had a, a lot of miscommunications and gave us some shots from the short corner. We haven't seen that at all in this second quarter, and that's why they have a nine-point lead. Looking to add to it out, Woodruff brings it across. Coming off of a screen, and... Cheryl, she goes up with the left and another and one. I'm speechless right, right now. She's playing awesome right now. 13 points on the night so far, heading to the line for more. Um, she's probably She might even have a double-double in the first half. Adding to her total 14 points, Mallory Cheryl. Giving me deja vu up here at all these and ones. Off of the screen, and that one will be illegal. Bowman unable to stay still through the screen. Or no, 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 they're going to call a foul on Woodruff. Having a conversation with uh, interim head coach Audrey Timmerman. You can't say enough about what she's done so far with this Bears team. Um, only playing with eight total players, and she's 1-0. Bowman takes the long jumper, can't get it to fall. Giannikos kicks it to the corner, and just not a lot of shots. <laughs> Finding bottoms for the Lions. They finally get a good look there, unable to get it to go. It's been a while since we've seen the Lions get any points on the board. It's the Bears looking to extend this lead even farther. Cheryl gets inside to Wilson. She turns over the right shoulder, and that is pretty. Yeah, the Bears just playing really good right now. They're finding holes in the defense, and as we said, the second quarter, they just figure it out. Lions shooting 40% on the night. And still just unable to get anything to go, but they get an and one right there as Adams just keeps battling, keeps battling. Sometimes it's not going to be pretty, but the Lions finally break the seal and end the run of the Bears. Yeah, that's really big for them right, right now. They're down 12 points, 220 left in the half, and uh, they, they have just not had a good second quarter, uh, shooting 10 for 26 on the night when they started out really, really well. You haven't seen a whole lot of Deja Marshall, and uh, Gabby Giannikos puts the shot up and gets it down. Lead is down to 10 now. Uh, she, Gabby Giannikos really played well in the first quarter, and she is um, she has seven points on the night. Do we see a foul? Foul right there. Woodruff just not any space to really turn the corner. Gets fouled by McMillan. 
as the Lions have to go down into their benches. They have a little bit of foul issues early on in this half, and they don't want it to become a problem. Woodruff now at the line. Five points. She knocks down her first free throw of the day, one of four from the three-point line. She normally doesn't take a lot of threes, but they're giving a lot of space. She has confidence in her jumper. She's taking some today. I wouldn't be surprised if she takes a few more. Yeah, I think that was the, the Lions' plans heading into the game is make, those, make them shoot beyond the arc, and uh, they've challenged them to it, and the Bears have really stepped up. Marshall now trying to find a way to get involved in this offense. The Lucas gets a piece of that. And just nothing easy coming for the Lions as Giannico's the only one right now is finding a rhythm as she now has 11 points and is really trying to keep the Lions in this game. It's going to be really big for the Bears to uh, head into the break with a double-digit lead. That's going to be awesome for confidence as Woodruff is going to get the foul heading to the line, possibly making it a 10-point lead. And uh, as I was saying, A.B., it's going to be really important for them to head into halftime with a lead. Um, just as a confidence, um, we'll see how Audrey or interim head coach Audrey Timmerman, uh, what kind of changes they make in the second half to help um, defend J Gabby Giannikos. Right now the Bears are up 10 as Woodruff looks to add to it. And she does make it an 11-point lead, giving her eight points on the night. minute 25 to go here until halftime. The Bears looking to keep the energy rolling. Giannikos from outside. She's not scared to let it go. The ball goes out of bounds and the Bears will have it with 115 here looking to add to it and probably take their largest lead of the game. Giannikos shooting about 63% on the night. 5 for 8, 11 points. The Lucas works it around, and Giannikos, she slides in and takes it from Cheryl. Third steal of the night for Giannikos as well. Nice pass inside, and they get it to fall. 53 seconds to go here. It's the Bears looking to get a bucket. Haven't really had any shots go as they've hit a couple free throws on their last few possessions. Looking to slow it down a little bit, run their play. Cheryl inside. She wants it. She's been the player of the half. Tipton from up top. Let's it fly. Just off center. That's a good look, though. I wouldn't be surprised if she tries to take another one off of a play like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if the Lions choose to uh, run out the half here. 25 on the clock. They turned off the shot clock. Bears right now are slightly under pace for a season high in points as this has turned out to be a pretty good first half for them. Giannico's going off of a screen, looking to make something happen, and it bounces around, a three from the corner. Can't get it to fall. As the Bears will take a nine-point lead into the locker room, 38-29. to 29. Wasn't the prettiest of first halves, but when they needed to, they turned it on, and especially defensively, they locked up the Lions it's the Bears hold the Lions to just under 41% shooting in the first half. Didn't have the lead for most of it, but when it mattered, when they got a chance to take the lead, they showed up and they took advantage of it for the Bears. What did you think of your first half? You know, Mallory Sherrill really stood out to me. Obviously, 14 points, 8 rebounds on the night. Very close to a double-double just in the first half. Um, as well as Ashley Woodruff, she's got eight points. Corbin Tipton was seven. I predicted to her, her to have a big night. And Addison DeLucas had a really big game on Monday. You know, hasn't really put points on the board. But um, she's only got two for the night, and she's really uh, dictating what happens on the offensive side for the Bears. Well, we have 14 minutes here before the second half starts. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be back on the Bear Sports Network.
I knew that there was an opportunity to have my college paid for if I was good enough to play baseball at that level. That was going to make a big difference in my family. D2 baseball gave me an opportunity to play at a high level and to get an education that's going to be valuable for me throughout the rest of my life. I chose to take my experience of being a student athlete and pursue that within my career and to get a master's degree. If I wouldn't have had a baseball scholarship, there'd be no chance that I'm doing what I'm doing today. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Everett Chevrolet Buick GMC is ready for another exciting football season. Everett has been a proud sponsor of the Lenore Ryan Bears for 25 years, and we wish the Bears a safe and successful season. And August means it's all systems go for another winning season with the Carolina Panthers. We have a tradition of winning in the Carolinas, and when you want to be a winner in the car, truck, or SUV game, come see the sales and service champions at Everett, because if you didn't get an Everett deal, you dropped the ball, baby. Woo! I love being busy in my garden. I got flowers to plant and beds to clean out. When I was feeling really tired and not like myself, I saw a doctor. Look at me now. The doctors were good, they worked with me, and they laughed with me. I'm back to doing everything I love. I needed a doctor and I found the expert for my heart. Kia in Hickory. We want to see you driving a new Kia or hey, a quality pre-owned Kia. We've got a huge selection of new and pre-owned Kias. You got to get to Paramount Kia in Hickory. Highway 70, ParamountKia.com.
Back here on the Bear Sports Network, Anthony Brown with Chris Rickenball. And Chris, you have a message for our fans? Absolutely. We'll take a second to talk about our sponsors, Custom Design Group. If you want official LR apparel, make sure to visit Custom Design Group in person or online at lrwear.com. Custom Design Group is the official apparel provider of Lenore Ryan Athletics. KNL Dundright, are you in the market for a new roof? Contact KNL Dunright Roofing, a proud LR supporter serving the Foothill region since 2009. All right, about four and a half to go here until the start of the third quarter, and the Bears took a lead in of nine points, 38 to 29. Really, really big second quarter right there. You had highlighted it at the start of the second quarter how dominant they've been over the last four games in the second quarter, and they kept the trend going tonight. As you can see, the halftime numbers there to kind of show how these Bears have taken the lead. Yeah, big numbers. Uh, both relative, relatively similar for uh, shots made, but not the points. 14 shots made on each side, 2 for 9 on the 3-point line for Lenore Ryan and 0 for 5 for Mars Hill. But where, where it's really big is the is the free throws and rebounds. Right now, Lenore Ryan is 8 for 11 on their free throws, and the Lions have only been to the line three times and only hit one of them. But rebounding has played a big role throughout this game. 22 rebounds for the Bears and 16 for the Lions. Eight assists for the Bears, seven for the Lions. And on the turnover side, the Lions have had nine turnovers compared to the Bears' seven. And something that I've really noticed throughout this game um, they have 11 fouls on the Lions' side, and they just missed way too many shots in the second quarter, but they really started to put it together there in the end, but they are still down nine at the half. I want to point out Mallory Sherrill. She was the star of the first half, 14 points, eight rebounds, four offensive and four defensive. Really came to play here as Sherrill has a career high in both the points and rebounds in just a half. Also, too, DeLucas putting in three assists. Woodruff, she has eight points. Got to the free throw line a bit and creates some havoc. And just all over the place defensively, everybody has been a part of it. We've seen Hook step up and take a couple of charges. We've seen DeLucas get a couple steals. Woodruff just forced some travels by being in the right spot. The defense of the Bears has led them to what was a big second quarter and what started to be a lead. If you're Mars Hill... Marshall hasn't been able to get going. She didn't score a single point in the second quarter. If you're the Bears, you love the sound of that. But if you're the Lions, you have to find a way to get your star player involved in the game because it's been the Gabby Giannico show. And she's put on a show as she's 5 of 9 from the field with 11 points. She's let a couple threes loose, hasn't been able to hit, but she's been able to get a lot of good jumpers to fall in about the mid-range area. If you're the Bears, what are you looking to do in this second half to extend your lead and walk out of here with your second straight win? You know, I think the Bears just need to keep doing what they're doing. They looked a little bit off once the Lions started to press, but, you know, they, they started to figure it out, started to find where there was gaps. Uh, Mallory Sherrill obviously came up big, and the Lions' 11 turnovers have resulted in 14 points for the Bears, and uh, the, the Lions only have six points off of the Bears' turnovers. And that's really been a key factor of the game. We've seen a couple fast breaks that we haven't really seen uh, in the last game. And we're still trying to figure out where, what this Bears team can do. We saw, um, we saw on Monday them go down into the paint and really just dominate from there. And now we're seeing Mallory Sherrill come up big. Addison DeLucas doesn't have as many points, but she can dish it out. And she's really been the team leader over the past two games. So I'm really interested to see what the second – second half has to bring who steps up where do they put the ball and how does Mars Hill respond uh, another thing to watch for the Bears will be minutes the Lucas and Woodruff both haven't stepped off the court yet Cheryl and Tipton not far behind both of them playing a lot of minutes so let's see if the legs can hold up in the second half and if you're the Lions I wouldn't be surprised if you try to get back out and running Marshall got her buckets in transition in fast break getting out and running the floor so if you're the Lions, I wouldn't be surprised they try to pick up the tempo here. But if you're the Bears, Bears you got to keep doing what's working. In the half-court setting, it's working. They're on pace to be really close to another season high in points. So just keep battling, taking, dominating the glass if you're the Bears, and walk out of here with your second straight victory as they leave 
38 and 29. It's been a good game so far. And the Lions will get it to start this third quarter as teams break the huddle and get ready to go here. Yeah, you mentioned a career high scoring for the Bears. Uh, Mars Hill is giving up 83 points per game, and Lenore Ryan is pretty much on their way to get close to that number as well. 78 in the last game, so they can score the ball. Start out the half, and that's an air ball. Tipton gets the rebound, and the Bears will look to add to this lead. Getting inside, Cheryl swings it around the hooks. Baseline drive by Woodruff. And they're going to call a foul. Too much contact as she drove the baseline. Yeah, that's going to be on Deja Marshall. Keep it with the Bears here. Tipped in to inbound. It's a tough pass to make. Marshall is really athletic. Tips it. But Cheryl steps through. A little side-to-side -side action there. Gets the bucket to go. Extending coming out, the lead. Coming out strong in the second half. 16 on the night for Cheryl. Nine rebounds. Very close to that double-double. And the Bears still sitting in their matchup 2-3 zone. Good action right there by the Lions. Too many missed shots by the Lions. That's not going to put points on the board for you. It was probably their best offensive set, though, as they finally found a way to get inside of that zone. Woodruff driving baseline, shrugs off. Marshall takes the contact. It's a little late on the call. The Lions weren't sure. I don't know if the ref was really sure either, but they call it, and that's going to put Woodruff on the line to increase the Bears' lead to 12. Ashley Woodruff, eight points. She's three of four from the free throw line so far. She's been very aggressive. Conversations between the refs. And Woodruff knocks down the first one, giving the Bears a 12-point lead, 41-29. Just an offensive explosion since the start of the second quarter for the Bears. They really started to settle in. That's something that we've seen even last time out against Queens. Just as the game got just moved farther along, they got more comfortable. A open look, miss right there. Tipped in with the rebound, and she finds Woodruff. The Bears have been on a, on the line a lot tonight. 13 total times on the line, and they've sank 10 of them. Hooks inside, outside to DeLucas for three. Gets it. And everything seems to be rolling now for the Bears offensively. Giannico's trying to find an answer. She makes a move, goes baseline, and DeLucas with the steal. Seeing Addison DeLucas come alive right here very quickly in the third quarter. Active defense all night for the Bears, and now they set up their play. Trying to find an inside look. Hooks, she wants position. Woodruff turns the corner. Hits to Lucas. She passes one up. Need to see a little bit more movement. Five seconds on the shot clock. They got to make something. Hadrick Woodruff steps inside. And that one is blocked out of bounds. But with one second left on the shot clock. Yeah, Giannico's got a hand on it there. So it's going to stay with the Bears. They're going to have to get it out very quick. This is... Pretty much catch and shoot potential, so you got to draw off your best play. DeLucas, she gets the catch, she gets the shot, can't get it to fall, but the Lions control the rebound. Now Daniels pushing it up the court. Giannikos steps back, Daniels up top, gets the shot to fall. Yeah, we saw a lot of those shots coming in the first quarter, not too many, not a whole lot of space for them in the second quarter, but we'll see if the Lions can continue to get those open shots and get them to fall. Daniels with her sixth point of the day. Tipton comes off the screen, has it blocked. But Cheryl, right place, right time, steps through, can't get that one to fall either. Now Marshall looking to push the tempo. Daniels on the outside, goes and gets the block. That'll send her to the line. 
Seen some success right there by the Lions when they pick up the tempo. I really won't be surprised if they try to go to that. And if you're the Bears, another good look at the rim, just this time not able to get it to fall. Yeah, Mallory Sherrill took a shoulder to the chest there. Hopefully she can come through for the rest of this game. She's been a big factor so far as Mars Hill misses the first free throw. Daniels unable to get her first free throw to fall. If you're the Lions and you're trying to crawl back into this game, you need all the points you can get, especially the free ones. She knocks down the second free throw. Bears with a 13-point lead, and they'll get some extended pressure here. Woodruff just calmly gets it across. A trap coming on the way. And then it's stolen, unable to keep possession. Giannikos drives up, scoop, can't get it to fall, but gets the foul. And that'll send her to the free throw line. That was her fourth steal of the night. She's been a big factor for this Lions team, uh, carrying the scoring tonight. She's got 11 points. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of Dejan Marshall here since the first quarter. She only has eight points in the night, but she's got six rebounds. Um, you know, as Giannikos misses the first one, um, I think Dejan Marshall needs to just be a little bit more active uh, on the court. We haven't seen her do a whole lot since the first quarter. An empty possession right there for the Lions. That one will hurt as they are now two for seven from the free throw line. Woodruff gets inside and shuffles the feet a little bit. That's three straight possessions for the Bears of nothing. Kind of lost their flow. I think that pressure has kind of forced them to pick up their tempo and they got to find a way to get it back to their pace. Yeah, even though the Bears have a 13 point, point lead right now, they still need to be playing tough and putting points on the board because this is a very dangerous Marshall team. Is, we're going to see a foul. It's going to go to the Bears. That's a charge right there. Marshall just being aggressive. I think a little frustration set in. She hasn't scored since the first quarter and took it inside to three Bears and just a charge being called because two of them had to be set at least. And yeah, this is going to be one of her lowest scoring games so far on the season for Marshall. Bears done a great job on the defensive side. Nice job handling the pressure right there as the Lucas pulls it out to get to Woodruff. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Bears, they're trying to find a way to get the inside touch, but Mars Hill very active now on the defensive side, not allowing it. It's another empty possession. Yeah, in the first quarter when they were protecting protecting the paint, uh, we saw Mars Hill really explode and really do well. They got out to that 10-point lead very quickly, and we just aren't seeing – we didn't see that in the second quarter, but now they're going back to it and having some success. The quick hands of Addison to Lucas again getting a tip on the pass. She also has four steals tonight. That's been big for the Bears, getting those fast break points. Lions looking now. Six seconds on the shot clock. A shot from the short corner. Can't get it to fall, and Cheryl cleans it up. That'll give her the double-double. Woodruff now in the fast break. Step through. Can't get it to fall. Hooks cleans it up. And one. You got to be excited about that one. That was a tough basket, A.B. Just when you needed an offensive rebound and a putback by the Bears. As Hooks getting involved in the action. She's been very active on the glass today. Seven total rebounds. And she still is yet to miss from the field. Doesn't get the free throw to fall. It's a battle. And that one go off Cheryl. Yeah, Hooks has had a little bit of a quiet night so far as we're going to see the replay, just the put back, uh, a great rebound and putting it back up. You can see them getting excited there. They know they have the lead. They're having fun playing right now. But as I was saying, she's had a little bit of a quiet night, only has six points, but she has been big in the rebound game, seven rebounds on the night. Bears falling back into the 2-3, going to force some three-pointers to come up from the Lions. They have not yet hit one. Lions working around on the outside. Very active are the Bears. Lucas looking for her fifth steal of the night. Can't get, but she will get a jump ball. And 
possession will go with the Bears. So what a 15-point lead here, 5-11 to go in the third quarter. Now the biggest difference I see right now is pretty much just the free throws. The Bears are still 10 for 14 on the night, and Mars Hill has, been, has taken seven trips to the free throw line and only come up with two points. Wilson inside, she catch it, turn, and that's just a soft kiss off the glass. Yeah, coming off of a big Monday night for Wilson, 18 points, three rebounds. Uh, hasn't had as many points tonight, but still has been a really big factor down in the paint with five on the night. Wilson, great defense right there. Trying to control the rebound and gets on the floor for it and gets it out to DeLucas. You want to slow it down here, run your play, wait till everybody gets down. And as rough as it might have looked in this third quarter for the Bears, they have their largest lead of the game at 17, looking to add to it. Woodruff steps inside, gets the and one. Just all over the place. The Bears are taking contact and getting it up on the glass. Having a really good night, 12 points, three assists. Uh, as we head into the break, we're going to talk about the Texas Roadhouse fan of the game. After we get to this replay, Addison DeLucas with the ball, taking it around the edge, finding Woodruff, driving in, getting a tough bucket. I don't know how she got that one to go, but she did. And that is a tough bucket for sure for the Bears. We'll keep it here as we talk. As they have extended it out and – Real quick, we'll take a moment to do the Texas Roadhouse Fan of the Game. Yeah, the Texas Roadhouse Fan of the Game, Anna Lamberth. Anna is an LR um, graduate of 2017. She's a cheerleading alumni, Delta Zeta alum, and now an RN for the Virginia Serving Our Veterans. Loves the Bears, by the way. Go Bears. And just a reminder, if you want to be the Texas Roadhouse Fan of the Game, just email a picture of yourself and tell us why you love the Bears. Now, Bears 19-point lead here. What have you seen the Bears do that has just led them to such a big lead and such a dominating performance tonight? You know, it's been big in rebounding. They had 48 last game, still about roughly 14 minutes left in the game, and they're getting close back to that 43 rebounds, only 12 off. And that's, that's really where it's been. Um, they got out to that lead big in the second half, and I think, They've just been able to take a breath. They've been able to run their plays successfully. Second chance points, 12 on the night for the Bears compared to the Lions' fours. Um, points in the paint, Lenore Ryan has 30, doing really well uh, compared to Mars Hill with only 20. As we see Woodruff heading to the line, she's got she's 3 for 11 for the night, 5 for 6 from the free throw line. Make that 6 for 7. And just adds 13 points on the night for her. The Bears extending their lead all the way up to 20 now. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Playing the zone pressure. Lions get on the inside, and that'll be a block called on Sydney Wilson as she tried to cut off McMillan, who took the baseline there. Baseline inbounds. That is the third foul of the quarter for the Bears. You know, even with a 20-point lead, still got 14 minutes left. You don't want to take your foot off the pedal just yet. Uh, they still got to play tough, get those rebounds, get those shots. As we see, Drew McMillan hit one from close. And McMillan gets on the board for the Lions as they finally get a bucket and stop the run of the Bears. At one point in time, it looked like they had this game in range where it was nine points, but now down 18. Sydney Wilson takes the jumper, leaves it short, but tipped in right place, right time. Steps on the baseline. Yeah, we can't give a big enough shout out to interim head coach Audrey Timmerman. She has come up with a really good game plan so far, and uh, she's doing an incredible job. One and zero so far, looking for two and zero, and a Bears third win on the season is what they're looking for. A big rebound by Wilson. Great position on the box out and just. Go and collect that rebound. She earned it. Bears 18-point lead here. 320, and they're going to set up their offense. Tipton, she's looking for a three. They get inside to Wilson. She turns over the shoulder and gets the roll again. Another and one. 
Way too many fouls by the Lions, but you just got to hand it to these Bears. They are going in for those tough buckets, and they're not afraid. Um, they're not afraid of contact at all. So we see Nakia Hooks come back into the game for Mallory Sherrill. Wilson looking to add to her total tonight, again at the free throw line. Now two for three from the line for Wilson, eight points. The Lucas tips away another pass. She's been very active on the defensive end, hasn't let any lazy passes get past her. No, no, she hasn't. Uh, she has five steals on the night. And, yes, if you're wondering, that is another career high as this has been a heck of a week for DeLuca. She gets the steal, adding to it, right on cue, running the fast break. Tipton takes it in, can't get it to go, but Wilson skies in, gets the rebound, and it's off of a foot. It's going to stay with the Bears here. I thought I saw it go off her foot, but I guess I'm wrong. Yes, I think they're going to call that one off of the foot of number 31, Trinity Barkley as she also gets a sub and will take a breather for the Lions. The Lucas comes around the screen. And now the Bears will set up their offense. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Inside Woodruff, just too quick, too smooth. Another bucket for Woodruff. 15 points on the night, having a great night. A lot of contact there. And they're going to call that one on Sydney Wilson. That'll be her second foul of the game. Foul trouble, not a problem for the Bears. Three players with two. Other than that, a couple players with one. Yeah, Ashley Woodruff, if you take a look at her stash, she's only four for 12 on the night, but she has six off the free throw line, which has been so huge as we see the Lions get a bucket. That's Chandler Adams. Beautiful execution of the inbounds play, and now the Bears look to break the pressure. And if you're the Lions, you're going to have to make a run here eventually. Yeah, they're going to need to put points on the board, and you just think back to all those shots that they were taking that just weren't going down, and that really hurt them in the second quarter. What a pass right there by Woodruff. Just the one hand finding a wide open Tipton on the baseline as she puts it in. Nine points on the night for Tipton, four rebounds. We see a big collision down in the paint. And you've already talked about it. Just the amount of smiles and just enjoying the moment, I think, from the Bears. It's really starting to show in their play as they look confident right now. They're playing with confidence on the offense side, on defense. They're trusting that their teammate will be in the right spot. They're rotating well. And I see a team that's starting to look comfortable as Giannico steps to the line and knocks it down. That's been a problem so far today for the Lions. They look back at the film, they're gonna, they're gonna hate to look at these free throw numbers. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you gotta hand it to the Bears, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of these ladies that are playing almost the entire game. Addison DeLucas hasn't come out a minute in the, uh, even on Monday she played the full 40 and she's gonna be back on the court for almost the entire game tonight as well. So she's gonna be pretty tired, but she's gonna have two days off toward um, good steal there. And that right there was the pressure of the Lions really caught Woodruff in an awkward position. And Marshall hasn't been able to get on the board since the first quarter. The Bears have done a tremendous job of containing her, but she'll go to the free throw line looking to get going. Yeah, she'll have 10 points on the night looking to make it 11. 22-point um, lead for the Bears here, 59-37. to 37. Get a quick discussion right here. Trying to decide how many shots. And Marshall, four or five from the field. A little short on the first free throw. And again, that is just killing the Lions. Three for ten and even 30% for the Lions tonight from the line. That's tough. Knocks down the second one. Can't leave points out there when you're trying to come back from a large deficit like the Lions are. And the Bears look to break this pressure. And they do a good job of it They're right, right there. Half court trapping. Inside the hooks. She goes up, takes the hit, 
and gets it to fall. 61-38. Marshall now in the open court finds an open Giannico. She pulls up for the jumper, gets hit on the arm, and she'll go back to the free throw line as well. Now the Bears are having a little bit of a fouling issue. We've seen the last few possessions end with free throws for the Lions. Yeah, it's all right that the Lions are going to the line. They're just not hitting their free throws, and that's really saving the Bears right now. They're, the Lions are leaving six, seven points on on the board, and they're really just getting out-rebounded. Lenore Ryan on the night, 34 rebounds compared to Marshall's 20, and that's the biggest number that really stands out to me except for the free throw line. Good job by Woodruff right there to find DeLucas. And a wide-open Mallory Sherrill gets the layup. Ball movement has been another stat that we can look at with the assist numbers. The Bears, multiple players with four assists, and they have just been moving it around all day. Also note, Mallory Sherrill, double-double for the night, 18 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, just having a career night so far. And DeLucas attacks, can't get that one to fall, but it'll bounce around and Tipton saves it. The Bears will set up some offense here. 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Woodruff swings it around. Tipton, she gets it inside. Hooks and one. Wow. If you've heard it before, I'll say it again. Another and one for the Bears. So we get a replay brought to you by Southside Power and Fitness. Just swings it around and Tipton. What a pass inside and then just taking the hit and going up strong. From this angle, it looked like she was taking a shot and it got blocked. But, you know, once once Hooks caught it and put it up, it made a lot more sense. 25-point lead for the Bears heading or with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. A travel is called as Bowman just kind of got lost into in the forest. Shuffled her feet a little bit, unsure of what to do, and can't speak enough on the defense of the Bears. They've just been all over the place. The shooting numbers, if you're not Gabby uh, Janikos for the Lions, it's it's not pretty anywhere. No, just simply just not hitting their shots from the field all the way to the free throw line. Ten seconds to go here in the third quarter. The Lucas drives around. She's looking for a shot. Hooks drives inside. Can't get it to fall. And the Lions trying to get a shot up before the end of the quarter. Unable to get it to fall. And the Bears will take a 25-point lead into the fourth quarter, looking to finish off their second straight victory. Up 65-40. to 40. We'll be back on the Bear Sports Network. What does unlimited mean to you? At Carolina West Wireless, it means unlimited media, unlimited fun, and unlimited access to our nationwide high-speed network. Sign up today for an unlimited data plan and pay just $35 per month per line for four lines. And we'll include hotspot and big time savings on a new smartphone. Take $350 off the revolutionary new Samsung Galaxy S20 and get more out of your unlimited. Expect more, get more. Only from Carolina West Wireless. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student-athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student-athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student-athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after-school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Back here in Schufer Gymnasium, we're going to take a second to shout out our sponsor, Pepsi. Pepsi of Hickory, locally owned and operated since 1925. Thank you for filling our coolers with Pepsi this fall, and thank you for allowing us to serve you all these years. Pepsi, born in the Carolinas, raised in Hickory. And a 25-point lead here in the fourth quarter as the Bears just look to finish this one off and secure their third win of the season, second one in the row. Inside, a nice move right there. Unable to get the fall on the hooks. Can't gather, but the Lucas does. I don't think you could really ask for a better 
two games from the Bears than they've been putting on. They had an excellent game with not a whole lot of expectations on Monday, and tonight they really just backed it up. I didn't think we'd see them get close or uh, close to what they did on Monday in points, but, you know, they're right back in there, and uh, the ball is going to go back to the Lions here. And I just want to point out to the defensive numbers, the Bears are holding the Lions right now to under 40% shooting. It has not been a lot of clean looks for the Lions as Giannico's lets one loose from the outside and they still have not hit a three, 0 for 7 for the day. And the Bears will slow this pace down, really just trying to run their offensive sets now. As that'll lead to a blocking call. We'll see the ball stick with the Bears here. Corbin Tipton to inbound. 65 to 40. About nine minutes left to play here in the shoe. See Woodruff out on the line, driving in, gets fouled. That step through has been there all night for all of the Bears and Woodruff again, using a little step through move, not a true Euro step, just kind of stepping past the defender, getting the contact and getting a shot up. That'll take her back to the line. She's also had a tremendous day, 15 points, four of 12 shooting, but six of seven from the free throw line, looking to add to it. Yeah, take a look at this stat. 18 trips now to the free throw line, hitting 13 of them. And that has been a huge factor for the Bears tonight. Um, if you take a look back, uh, Marceau only hitting 6 for 13 from the free throw line. As we see, Woodruff hit both of them there. And free throw shooting. I mean, between the free throw shooting and the slight change and three-point shooting, those have been the biggest offensive numbers that are different for the Bears. Marshall with a tough pull-up, and DeLucas gets the rebound. Mars Hill, seven shots from the free throw or uh, from the beyond the arc, coming up with no points, 0 for 7. Hooks gets it inside, can't get it to fall, and then the foul on her going after the rebound. Caught a little piece of the arm from Marshall. You got to be aggressive as Marshall. We, brought, we mentioned it earlier. She's leading the nation in defensive rebounds, so you got to believe that she's coming in strong at any given point in time. And that time, Hooks just caught a piece of the arm. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Bears with a 27-point lead. Yeah, Marshall, not, in a, not an outstanding night in the points column. Only nine for the night so far. Um, as we're going to see a big charge. Just another example of the great defense the Bears have played. Mallory Sherrill. Right now, I would have her as the player of the game. She's done everything on the court and defensively showing up again as we get a replay of that. Just look at the rotations. Everybody in position, it, get, it gets kicked up top, and then Cheryl stepping over, putting her body on the line, and taking the charge. Yeah, for Marceau, you got to really shout out Gabby Gian, Giannikas. Uh, 14 points on the night, three assists, uh, only one rebound, though, but, you know, she's – She's provided a little bit of life for these Lions and put some points up on the board when they needed it. And it uh, feels like we've been calling her name a lot tonight. Been one of the few very active players for the Lions as the Bears work around five seconds on the shot clock. A lot of contact, can't get it to fall. And then Cheryl fouled on the layup attempt, and that'll send her to the free throw line. Cheryl, you see her stat line right there, 8 of 12 from the field, 2 of 3 from the free throw line, 18 points, a career high, also has a career high on rebounds, and has the double-double adding to her total. 22 fouls on the night from Mars Hill. That is a big number. Uh, points off turnovers is another column that we're seeing Lenore Ryan really excel in. Now 20 points compared to Mars Hill's 7. 
And this has just been a runaway for the Bears since the first quarter. Listen to these offensive numbers as the Lions work it around, and that'll be a travel by Daniels. But in the first quarter, the Bears only shot 27.8% from the field. Very rough, weren't getting a lot of looks to fall, but I thought they had a lot of good looks. And in the second quarter, they shoot 69%. Third quarter, they shoot 55%. And they've picked it up so much offensively here. It's just kind of been an avalanche, and the Lions haven't been able to keep up. Yeah, the biggest stat is going to be, um, as I had heading into this game, as we see a foul on the court, but the biggest stat that I saw that kind of stood out and it was kind of uh, uh, something that really uh, was really big for me, uh, after being outscored by 49 points in the first seven games, LR's really, really turned it up here in the last two, and tonight is going to obviously add it to it, but... Um, they've been outscoring their opponents by 20 points in the last two games, and tonight is definitely going to add to that stat. Woodruff gets both free throws to fall. Been very efficient from the free throw line tonight. She gets her point total up to 19. Giannico's looking for somebody. Now Marshall with it. Got to believe she's going to try to make something happen here. Kicks out Daniels for three can't get it to fall the Lions just unable to hit some shots when in key moments when they had open looks because they haven't had a lot of open looks so far yeah we saw them really hit well in the first quarter then after that it, it just fell off a cliff nice pass down low but we're going to get a travel I think there was a travel on the pass by the Lucas as Wilson made the backdoor cut 31 point lead here, 71 40. Southside Power and Fitness brings to you this fourth quarter as the Bears look to finish it off and get their second straight home win, third win of the season. Nice drive inside and another charge as Mallory Sherrill steps in front, is in position. She's absolutely going to be player of the game as of right now. As we're going to see this replay. Marshall taking it inside, pass back to Giannokis, and she's going to drive in, and Cheryl's going to take the foul. Woodruff with it up top. And that one is just what a steal. That was a snag right there, almost like a short stop. Just, I mean, the athletic ability right there. Just, wow, I can't even speak on that of Marshall. She read that one like a book, jumped up like a cat and just took it. I expected her to have a little bit bigger of a night, you know, with this Lenore Ryan team that's still, still trying to figure out um, what they can do. I expected her to be really dynamic, go in and drive and get points, and she, she just hasn't done that tonight. The Bears have done a really, really good job on defense, and you're seeing it on the scoreboard, 71-40. to 40. That's an, another foul call as Sydney Wilson picks up her fifth. Nakia Hooks checking into the game. Wilson to finish the game with a pair of rebounds and eight points. You can see a jump ball here. Oh, that actually looks like they're going to call a foul on Hooks, which will send Shelby Bowman to the line. She has two points, one of seven from the field. Just, again, an example of not a lot of clean looks. She knocks down her first free throw. Again, that's another problem that the Lions have had. Yeah, the only double digit in, uh, for points is Gabby Giannokis. We've seen what she's done all night as Ballman hits the second free throw. Tipton gets the ball across half court now at five minutes and 40 seconds to go here. Looking to set something up. Bears lead at 29 points. To Lucas looking to get it inside to Cheryl. That one was tipped again by Marshall. Skip past to Tipton. She lets the three go. 
gets the roll. Wow. I really expected I really expected her to have a big night. She's got 12 points on the night so far, six rebounds. Um, I think the Bears are really just letting her shoot the ball and uh, kind of figure out what she can do. 12 points will be a career high for Tipton. Only her second game of her college career. And that'll take us to a timeout here. It's the Bears lead 74-42. We're going to take a break and be back here on the Bear Sports Network. takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Back here on the Bears Sports Network on the SAC Live. Here in Schufer Gymnasium, the Bears are up 74-42, to 42, and we're going to take a second to shout out our sponsor, David E. Looper. When looking for a general contractor, you need someone you can depend on, and you certainly want someone with the ability you require. You can depend on David E. Looper to respond to your needs from timeless to timeliness to budget. If you need to know more, check out our website, delcompany.com. Giannico is at the line. She can't get it to fall. That's been a story all night for the Lions. It's going to be a tough one for them as the Bears really just exploded offensively and clamped down defensively. Dixon in the game as well. On the floor right now for the Bears, you have Tipton, Woodruff, DeLucas, Cheryl, and Dixon. They look to finish this one out to five minutes to go here in the fourth. Lenore Ryan, 22 points off of turnovers, 16 second chance points, and a big 42 points in the paint as we see Tipton hit a three in the corner. What a night for her. Just adding to her total uh, layup right there by Daniels, unable to fall. And now the Bears, one point away from tying their season high. Yeah, I, I believe I uh, predicted 15 points for Corbin Tipton, and she is at that now, having herself a night, a new career high, six rebounds as well. And that'll take us to our media timeout, the final media timeout of the game. 424 to go here as you see the replay of Tipton's three from the corner. We're going to take this break, and we'll be right back here on the Bear Sports Network. Did you know Geico could save you hundreds on car insurance and a whole lot more? So what are you waiting for? Hip-hop group tag team to help you plan dessert? Uh, French vanilla, rocky roll, chocolate, peanut butter, cookie dough. Scoop that is, scoop that is, scoop that is, scoop that is, scoop shakalaka, 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 scoop shakalaka, 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 Geico, switch today and see all the ways you could save. I think we Back here on the Bear Sports Network, LR leading 77 to 42. It's been a heck of a day offensively for the Bears. Is it started out slow? They got a lot of looks early that they weren't able to get to fall. But since they have started falling in the second quarter, it's been an avalanche. Absolutely, starting from the second quarter, uh, they just really hit their stride and they're starting to feel themselves now. Um, taking a couple, 
couple of the starters out of the game as we see the freshman from Rockwell, North Carolina, Adelie Harrison, step into the game for her first minutes. It's giving Ashley Woodruff a break. She played every minute in the last game and had played every minute so far tonight. Addison DeLuke is still on the court, being the senior leader. Uh, she's really been able to uh, direct this offense and team so far. And right on cue, DeLucas with the rebound and brings it back out to reset the offense. Four Bears players into double digits now. Cheryl, Woodruff, Tipton, and Nikia Hooks. A nice backdoor cut, and that'll lead to a foul. Harrison will be going to the line. Harrison still looking for her first career college points. Prime position to get them right here. Bears right now shooting 18 for 23 from the free throw line. Hitting about 75% of their free throws. Uh, having a really big night. So we see Harrison get her first points of her LR career. Even in a game like this that might be under control, those moments are still pretty important to those players. Oh, absolutely. The Bears look to finish this one off, and that'll move them to three and seven. Good defense again. Ball movement. Giannikos drives inside and gets some contact, and that'll send her to the free throw line. And Mars Hill right now eight for 17 from the free throw line, and just going... From uh, through a couple of the stats, uh, some that really point out to me, a big rebounding. The Bears have another outstanding night rebounding. They're 45 on the night, outdoing Monday's game where they had 43. It's a new season high. Still three and a half minutes left. Could still add to that. Def on the defensive side, they have 30 compared to the offensive side where they're out rebounding the Lions 15 to 5. When you get 10 more offensive rebounds than the other team, it's it's really hard to lose a game like that and the Bears have dominated on the glass the last two nights out and I expect them to try to keep that same momentum going, that same energy going into the future games as it's worked and has been very effective for the Bears. Absolutely. For my notes, I had rebound, rebound, rebound and exclamation points and you know, they've done that both nights so far. As we see both teams really start to clear the benches now. Luluk is bringing it across the court. Three minutes to go here. Bears with a bucket or a point will have their highest scoring game of the season. Harrison with it now. 12 seconds. Tipped in. She drives inside. Really nothing going there. The Lucas, right place, right time, and can't get any part of the rim. That one will lead to a run out. Daniels now running for the layup. Can't get it to go. Mars Hill just having a really tough time getting the ball inside the hoop today. 17 for 49 on their field goals. That's a little under 35%. Harrison, tough move right there. Can't get to fall, but a rebound by Dixon. She turns, and she gets fouled. Sending her to the free throw line as well. Looking for her first points on the night, too. Sophomore out of Matthews, North Carolina. Unable to get the first one to fall. Two and a half to go here for the Bears. Second one is good. Every single bear on the, on the floor that is in the jersey tonight have points now. As they get another steal. big time steal right there. And just the defensive performance that the Bears put on, can't say enough about it. The Bears will look to set up a play and really wind down this clock. On the inside, we'll get an offensive foul. As I'd like to take a moment and recognize our player of the game Mallory Sherrill just what a performance she had 20 points a career high and also two 15 rebounds with five assists as the Lucas knocks down the free throw 
just can't say enough about the show that Cheryl put on. She started early, and she was active all night. Definitely making a case for when all, when all the players return that she needs to be on the court a lot more. And she, all these ladies have really proved it, making a case for themselves. DeLucas really been able to um, control the game, dish it out. We've seen Cheryl now with 20 points. As you see her as the player of the game again, five assists on the night as well. You see Woodruff with 19 points, Tipton with 15, and Nakia Hooks with 10, along with Sydney Wilson. She has eight points, three rebounds on the night. And uh, as you were talking about the defensive side of the ball, Addison DeLucas has six steals. Sydney Wilson has... My bad. I read the wrong stat. But she's having a great night as well. <laughs> Want to put it out there, though, Cheryl, 10 defensive rebounds. She's been a big part of why the Bears were so good defensively, just giving Mars Hill one look. I mean, every time it seemed like the Lions came down, they were getting either one shot or no shots, and that's it. The Bears were not giving up any second-chance points, giving any second-chance looks, especially after that first quarter when they really got settled in. Yeah, only giving up six second-chance points on the night. Lenore Ryan with a big number, 18 for second-chance points. That's outdoing their last game. Uh, points off turnovers, Lenore Ryan with 23. That's a huge number. And kick it out, three seconds on the shot clock, a three on the way. Harrison can't get it to fall. And we wind down the final minute 15 here in this game as the Bears look looks like they're going to push their record up to three and seven now. Lions will fall to one and nine. And another, another great offensive night. And as we look forward for the Bears, they have the tough Tusculum on Saturday. Um, you know, something that they can really take from this game is that everybody got in. Everybody has points. They're playing really well defensively. Um, they're starting to figure out who their players are. I think Corbin Tipton's starting to shoot the ball well. Mallory Sherrill had an amazing night. Addison DeLucas didn't have to put up really big numbers for them to be good. Um, and they're, they're putting points on the board. And that's the big story, I think, if you want to take out these last two games, the offense. It's been really crisp as Harrison lets one go from the corner, unable to get the fall. But the offense has been crisp, and tonight the defense came to match it, and that's why you get such a big lead for the Bears as we have right now. And if you're going to knock free throws down at the rate they did, you'll always, you'll always be in a good position. The Bears, they got to the free throw line, and they made free throws. Speaking of that, Dixon gets fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line. 26.8 seconds left to go. Bears with 80 points on the night. I mean... Couldn't have asked for a better night. Better two games, even. Career highs. Um, you only have eight players total. Um, you're obviously missing um, those big-name players, McClung, Kennedy Waite, um, even Madeline, Hart Madeline Hardy. Um, man, I could go through the starting five. Um, and, and not only to say you're missing head coach Graham Smith, it, he's been a heck of a impact on this culture of the team and just how they've played and it shows in games like this they've played as a team and Audrey Timmerman she's done a good job of having the ladies ready to go ready to play defensively they showed up from the opening tip not a single quarter where the Lions shot over 40 percent and then offensively they finally got the basket the ball in the basket as we dribble it out here looks like the final score will be 81 to 47 the Bears will move to three and seven on the season the Lions will fall to one and nine after winning the opening game of the season. That's nine straight losses for them. They'll look to figure it out again on another night. And the Bears, second straight home win. And you can see the joy on the team as they congratulate interim head coach Audrey Timmerman. You were last minute situation. You're told you're missing most of your team. You're going to have to step up and be the coach tonight. And two days in a row now, the Bears have shown up. As you see the final stat line there, what do you see point out to you the most, Chris? Oh, man, rebounds. 49 rebounds, a new season high. 18 assists, uh, only 15 turnovers, and that really sticks out. But hitting from the free throw line for 30 trips, they're getting 22 points out of that. And Mars Hill, you know, with 19 trips, only being able to get nine points out of that, that's really tough for them. And I think that really stood out through the game. Uh, the second quarter was obviously the biggest for the Bears. 
and uh, Mallory Sherrill just playing really tough, 20 points on the night, was our player of the game, had 15 rebounds, five assists. What a night for her. And I want to give a shout-out to Ashley Woodruff, 19 points right behind Cheryl. She played all the way until the final four minutes of the game. She played every minute the other night. She also has been a warrior for this team, been a leader, was at the free throw line 10 of 11. That's the most free throw she's ever made in a game. Very, very impactful. Five assists, one steal as well, two fouls. So she kept her numbers down there just all over the place, being active. And this was a total team win. You get a new season high in points. You get your second straight win. And it seems like they're starting to have some fun. You get a tough matchup on Saturday against Tusculum. But for now, we're going to enjoy this one. I'm Anthony Brown with Chris Rickenball. And the Bears win by a final score of 81-43. We'll see you on Saturday afternoon as they take on Tusculum. Have a great night on the Bears Sports Network.